I was born during World War II. My dad was away from home. It was pretty tough on my mom. But we lived in just a horrible house, just absolutely the most squalored house. It was just awful. My mom was a very negligent person. We used to go to school with filthy clothes on, stinking. I never had a peaceful day at school. So you were really bullied? Yes. Oh, in the worst kind of ways. You you mentioned earlier before our interview that you always knew that you were gay. Of course. So did did that come out in school? Oh, yeah. You want to share a little bit about well, what they, that was uh, like? Well, the boys at school wouldn't even let me use their the men's bathroom. I mean, I had to go outside in the back, and I was always wetting my clothes because they wouldn't let me use the bathroom. Wow. Yeah, it was really hard. Yeah. Really hard. Can you share a little bit about, you know, after high school? Well, how about finishing high school and then moving I on after high school? I quit high school because it was just too hard. I was getting I was getting flack from home. I was getting flack at school. Even the teachers were harsh on me. So I just finally said, I'm not going to do this anymore. I was staying in Eugene, and Mom and Dad decided that that was too close for them to be. They were afraid I might come back to live, but they had. I had definite news for them. I would never, ever have gone back home, ever, ever, ever. No, I wouldn't. So um, anyway, they asked me to leave Eugene so that I would be far enough away, and I never said a word to them. I just sold all my stuff, took $40 and a suitcase with a set of clothes, and hitchhike clear to Seattle so I needed a job so somebody knew somebody and they started me out with a millionaire in Broadmoor doing caregiving so you were a caregiver for 42 years yes I found I was very satisfied helping other people which I you know I had gone through so many horrible things in my life at uh, you know before that that I wanted to be of help to other people make their lives a little better than mine had been. And that was my mission. I just think it's amazing, Mike, that you went through as what you went through and were able to um, transform that in your heart and give that as love. And it, it sounds Thank like you. you also know that your relationships were hard, your personal relationships were hard, but you, you know kind of why. Yeah, you yeah, know? I do. Mm. What brings you joy on a day-to-day basis? What do you what do you love? Well, I know that just being around the people I have here every day is a joyous day because they always see to it that we have those kind of days here. Mm-hmm. They're really very interested in the welfare of the people that are here. And that makes it so much easier to get well. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, thank you. It was really You're interesting. You're welcome.